What do you reckon to the hat, mate? It's cracked out mouse. It's my own little brand. This is as well, though. This is on my website. It's Mothman with his cock out, mate. And this is a glove puppet I made out of a fox. This isn't for sale. This is just so you'll watch my videos and that. But what do you reckon to all the canvases on the wall? They're all for sale, mate, on my website, worldaroundyou.com. We've got uh, looking up a squiddle's dress. A puppeteer made out of half of a rat and a couple of baby chicken heads, but he's given one of them a sun hat because he cares about that one more getting it with it getting skin cancer and it, you know, from the UV rays, the dangerous in it. But he only cares about the one on his left hand, he don't really give a shit about the one on the right. The take it or leave it kind of thing. We got a couple of more dirty ones which are luckily, you know, blocked out by this fox's head all the way through the video. Like that. And then there's a barbecue made out of about six mice with a chef made out of half of a rat and a pinny. And bang in the middle there, you've got the Marge rat meat. Well, another one of me rat people. What do you reckon? Worldaroundyou.com. If you join me Patreon, you get access to all me podcasts. And you get some stuff like this a little bit cheaper as well. There's a link on me page. What do you reckon to this fornament I've made? We call them a fornament because, you know, it's an animal attached to an ornament, if you haven't been able to tell. Now, you're going to have to look closely to be able to see it. But it's here where I've made the adjustment and I've actually repaired it and I've, I've replaced the cracked up sh um, broken face with a, with a bit of duckling for those of you that couldn't couldn't tell and I've, I've actually added a duckling's bill as well here it's called duck pan and brush because he's, he's a street sweeper worldaroundyou.com I want him to let me play myself in a dramatised fictional version of my life and my work just make it mental when I was younger, my mum gave me a fake bar of soap that made my skin go black and I feel like that's probably not allowed to be sold anymore because, of you know, sentimentalities have changed. So this is a fake bar of soap that you can't use as soap, it just says soap and it's got some mouse intestines in. You could even, if you wanted to, pretend it's Modern Warfare merchandise if you wanted to. Unofficial, of course. Unofficial. Um, well, just like my, uh, just like my unofficial... Um, I've got unofficial, uh, what do you call it, Top Gun merchandise, look at this mate, chicken lungs mate, like that song, you know, take my... I've also got ones which are fridge magnets with a picture of my dad's toes on, he's got proper thick, crispy, crusty toenails, so if you, you might like that, they're on worldaroundyou.com as well, there's a link on my page. Which Christmas decoration are you getting, are you getting the gingerbread men made out of turkey feet, are you getting the well hung babies? Or are you going to go for a festive hairy dangler made out of rat skin and chicken's beaks and bits of duckling and mice? Wouldn't be machine washable. Yeah, look at this. This is all stuff I've been making in the run up for Christmas. Thinking you might want some nice bits. And because of the popularity of these through the year, I've brought them back, mate. Look at all these duckling feet, mate. Loads of duckling feet. Come and get your feet pics from me. Worldaroundyou.com. Or you could get yourself a little fornament, mate. Tons of it. Yeah, I've been getting stuff like that a lot recently, man. And that's why I set up the, uh, the friends page, which you can find the link to on my Instagram. But there's, there's with the taxidermy, man. What do you think of the taxidermy and that? And the shirt in the video. There's, there's actual stuff you can buy. A new fornament. I haven't got a name for it yet. I've literally just finished it. What do you reckon? It's got a baby chicken's beak, rat skin, duckling. And this is a duckling's foot here, holding the head of an ornament. It's quite good, isn't it? It'll be on my website at some point today, but there's loads of other bits on there at the minute. I'll put more on last night and more on this morning. Making these, mate, little fuzz faces. It's a bit of duckling and a little man with a with a fake tooth and that. Just thought it'd be a nice little stocking filler this Christmas. The the different heights, you know. I've got a I got a little one here. Maybe you prefer the little one, but I'm sending them out at random, mate. Look at him. There's just a little something nice, isn't it? People have been enjoying these through the year. That's what I do at Christmas, man. I bring things back, but I also introduce new things. Uh, new things like these boneheads, mate. These boneheads, they're, they're made out of fox vertebrae, which is a piece of a fox's spinal cord, and a bit of duckling up the top. But, you know, if you're not into your duckling bits, maybe you want a bit of rat. Um, I've got these. These are my portable i5 machines. I've made sure to make some of these for Christmas. They're made out of rat's arms. They're just a rat's arm on a spring, innit? But they're, they're pretty nice, mate. Pop them in your car and it'll wave at people. You know, you know, it's a thanker. It's an automatic thanker for when someone lets you out at a roundabout unlawfully. What do, what do you reckon? Worldaroundyou.com Do you know anyone who's a fan of ducks? Like ducklings, baby ducks. Uh, you, you know, maybe maybe they're a bit of a poultry file. And you, you could get one of these, mate. This is a headless duckling. I call them a free meal. And I call them a free meal 
because somebody else got the bill. But maybe you're not into cheap jokes that I keep making over and over and over. Maybe what you want to get them is a duckling's arse that I've made into a fridge magnet. Maybe maybe they're into the magnets but they don't want the idea they don't like the idea of a bum hole on the fridge. Maybe they're into the magnets and you know, get them a duckling's foot on a fridge magnet that they could put on the fridge. Maybe though, maybe they're into fridge magnets and they're into toes, but they're not into dead ducks at all. So get them one of these, mate. That's a picture of me of my dad's toes. They're actually my dad's toenails. They look how thick they are. They're, they're proper chunky, mate. They wreck your teeth for them. You wouldn't want to really be suckling on them, would you? But you can pop them on your fridge, mate. Maybe it's an idea for a friend who, you know, goes a bit heavy over Christmas. And this will keep them out of the fridge, won't it? Worldaroundyou.com People keep saying this, and I'm guessing it's because I make stuff out of dead rats and that, but... It'd be, I'd fucking love it, mate. Imagine the exposure for that. Imagine how many orders I'd be getting for, you know, like, mouse shit in pigs' faces and that, if they did do a Netflix... Yeah, here's one of my rat people. I make them every now and then. This one's about to go. He's a, he's a bank robber, so he's got his... He's, uh, he's got his, his gun, which I think goes in this hand. Attaches by a magnet. He's got his swag bag, which I can't attach one-handed. Made out of goat skin and rat skin. And he's even got his mask to hide his identity, which attaches with elastic. So yeah, he's, uh, he's gone. There'll be more, though. There's other stuff. What about a bobblehead duckling? Maybe you'd like a bobblehead duckling. I'm going to go for a little bit of a speed run. This is a baby chicken's eye and a hex block. This is a necklace made out of baby chicken toes. That's in the bargain bucket on worldaroundyou.com. There's a bit of mouse rib cage. That's in worldaroundyou.com's bucket, bargain bucket. Kidney stones made mouse kidneys and a little diamond. That's on the website as well. You can buy them normally. You can buy the sort of shitty ones from the bargain bucket. There's another eye in a hex box. See how they're all different? That one looks like it'll be a bit sticky, doesn't it? And around the edges, a bit scratched up in that bargain bucket, mate. Yeah, there's a key ring, some mouse paws in it. That's on the bargain bucket as well. Or you can buy a regular one for four quid. What do you reckon, World Around You? A suave man of class and sophistication, mate. Gonna be adorning his Christmas trees with, you know, things that look like dead babies and turkey feet and that, mate. It's mint, innit? It's well good that people like my stuff, man. Look at these, mate. Festive airy danglers. So this one on my little finger is rat, baby chicken and duckling. Then we've got rat and baby chicken beak. Goat and a bit of baby chicken beak. And then this one here is duckling with a little fake tooth. Once we can get him into focus. If you hang around, there we go. You can kind of see it's getting dark though. So I'm going to have to skin this rat and go home. Making some festive airy danglers now. This one's made out of a bit of goat skin. And a chicken's beak. What do you reckon? I'm going to be making a big push on Christmassy bits and the smaller bits now. So there's some bigger bits on my website if you're interested. But go and have a look at what's on there. Or if you want, you've got an idea of something you'd like me to bring back for Christmas, maybe I'll give it a go. I don't know. So leave a comment underneath and let me know. This episode is brought to you by Fat Pete's Prints off of Etsy, where you can get yourself some fake nano fridge magnets, some anatomically correct etchings that have been printed out. You can even get a t-shirt with some ropey looking fat fella with a, a hairy chest sucking on a lollipop. There's a load of stuff on there now, man. He's, he's really improving his store as it goes, and I'm hoping that he's being able to put more time into it because the listeners of World Around You's podcasters been going to his, his shop and buying bits but well uh, maybe he's just got a bit of spare time on his hands who knows but that's fat pete's prints on etsy there'll be a there's a link uh, in the description below and there's probably a link in my link tree as well for those of you that are interested that's fat pete's prints i'll uh, let you get back to your episode